Now is the perfect time to start your tax planning. That's right, in June or in August or March or April. Actually, any time of the year, I think, is the perfect time to start your tax planning. Hi, my name is Adrena. I am the owner and accountant here at Accounting by Adrena. And in this video, I have a freebie linked below in the description box exactly for you, the self-employed entrepreneur. Now, this is a freebie that is a principal PDF that I created in order to help you stay organized. It's a two-page printable. The first page has a section for your income, your expenses, and anything else that pertains to your business, so anything extra. And there's also a section to keep track of your quarterly estimated tax payments. On the second page is a handy mileage tracker for your car. So you just print that out and keep it in your car, and you can take all of the notes throughout the year for all of your business travel. All right, I'm gonna show you exactly how I would use this two-page printable in this video. Let's begin. All right, here is your handy dandy two page be organized self employed version. You keep this handy with you and it will help you organize all of your finances when it comes time for tax time. Now, I want to be specific. This is for the entrepreneur. Maybe you're just getting started in your business, maybe it's one to two years into your business. So this is kind of just like a, a reference sheet that you would use in addition to however you're doing your bookkeeping. So on the left side, we have a, the left top side, we have an income section. So this is where you can total all of your monthly income. So just get the sum total here and just write that in January, February, March, all the way through December. On this section here, I kind of have like a section for monthly expenses. This can also be like quarterly expenses. Uh, should you have something like that? For example, I have a semi-annual insurance, like business insurance that I have to pay. So I also have like a quarterly like post office box that I have to pay. So those aren't necessarily monthly expenses, but it's a good reference sheet to have. So that way you are aware of when those expenses are coming up and the due date. Now on this left, let's go to this right side actually. So every business is a little bit different. Even if you're in the same industry, you might be using different tools or online tools or anything else that can help you or is pertinent to your business. And so I just have a section here that you can kind of like keep notes or keep track of anything else that is related to your business that has a financial component. I divided it into four squares. In my mind, I kind of think in quarterly kind of instances. And so maybe that is also relevant to you. Now, when it comes to your estimated tax payments, this is where you would aggregate all the information that you have in these other areas. So you would have the total income let's see, your total, your net. So this is, would be your net for January, February, March. And then how much is due for your first quarter, your second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. Now I do have, if that bar goes away, there's a clickable link down here. When you download this PDF, there's two clickable links down here. So you'll be able to see those. Actually, there's one on this page and then there's a second one on the next page. So that that is kind of like the estimated tax IRS guidelines. So let me show you what that looks like. So here is where that link takes you to. It is a PDF document that has all of your questions related to your estimated tax payments throughout the year. So if you ever have any kind of questions, you can always come here and reference it. And what I like to do, instead of kind of like scrolling through everything, I just do a control F and then you can just type in, you know, income or sales or I think the form sorry <laughs> okay the form here is what's going to help you determine what you owe for each quarterly tax payment due so that is also included on my sheet at this link below now on the next page i have a section to keep track of your estimated miles now this is actually you would want to keep this in your car. So as you travel to do business, you would list out the date, the purpose, and then the total miles here. 
And so, you know, at the end of the year, you would turn this in to your tax accountant, to your CPA. And if you ever have questions on the mileage rate, it, the link below here will also take you to the IRS's website where you can find more information on the IRS mileage rate. Now, this is really handy to have. Something that I like to do is every month I look at like my entire calendar to make sure that I've actually captured each trip and to make sure that the total miles is calculated as well. I like to just have everything in my Google calendar so that way I know okay, on this day, I went here for two hours or for three hours or whatever the case may be. So it's just really handy to make sure that you're capturing everything related to your business because during tax time, this is going to be really useful for you. All right, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoy. Again, this PDF is linked down below in the description box and let me know if you have any questions. Also, Make sure you're signed up for my newsletter so you are aware of new YouTube videos coming out every week. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.